Keeping venomous reptiles is an unforgiving hobby, requiring proper training and lots of experience. One simple mistake can be the difference between life and death. death, death. Remember, the most venomous snake in the world oh, is the whoa. one that just bit you. There are no venomous snakes with training wheels. Just because you see Viper Keeper handle snakes a certain way does not mean you should try it too. Well, we have some new arrivals and these are sort of something that Lori has wanted to have in the collection for the longest time. And, you know, I've, I'm like, yeah, they're only eyelash vipers. Um, but uh, make, uh, since we're transitioning to smaller animals, they're not quite as uh, difficult to work with. That is used to be Bothrops schlegeli, but it's now known as Bothriatus, and actually um, I know the author quite well and is a good friend who wrote the paper, the landmark paper, which uh, sort of divided up uh, uh, Bothrops, the Bothriatus, the Bothriopsis, etc etc I'm not going to go through the whole litany but there was uh, evidence that uh, um, there was enough genetic difference that <clears throat> this was uh, something that needed to be done so it's just arrived from the, my friend the breeder Costa Rica and excuse the uh, shutter noise uh, in the background but wanted to go pew 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 and it wouldn't. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to move this over here. Now, like all the other Bothrops, uh, the larger ones can, can certainly kill humans. Uh, uh, little ones like this will make you quite miserable and make you lose a little bit of flesh. Um, I am going to try to uh, do that uh, without uh, getting chomped on myself. You know, the little guy is apprehensive. He just traveled a long ways. Uh, and this is a male, so uh, I'm going to gently move him into his quarters. Whoa! Why do they always want to play snake hockey? There you go. They always want to play snake hockey. And maybe the hook was too cold that it was like, whoa! <laughs> so there you go. You can go in there and you can get uh, warmed up and, and pick your place. It's a nice upstream for you to climb on. And hopefully not to escape from. Uh, I've used the uh, tubs with uh, with no holes in the side, so we'll push this uh, up in the end to the little spider. We have lots of resident spiders here at the lair, and Laurie and I don't bother them, and they keep our our fly population down. We have these pesky little carrion flies. Um, that are always, you know, causing trouble. And if there's one thing on the planet that I know that uh, Mrs. Viper Keeper dislikes, and that's maggots. 
Um, so, uh, spiders are very welcome here at the lair. Uh, unfortunately, in some places, I have some uh, some hot shot pesticide strips um, for the flying uh, variety. So this is another male. This is a nice little sort of pinkish one. Who knows what uh, his colors will come out to be. Their eyelashes will be much more pronounced when they uh, get a little bit older. I did warm the hook up a little bit this time. Come on. There you go. That wasn't too bad, was it? It's better than the whole journey up here from Costa Rica. Toss that in. <coughs> the girls and you always know that the girls are generally um, not as friendly as the guys. I really have a dislike for deli cups, especially when working with pit vipers. I've seen people get bit through the holes in the deli cups because of their really, really highly accurate targeting mechanism that pit vipers have, and that's their heat sensitive pits that can detect the differences in tenths of a degree uh, Celsius, and certainly, as Mrs. Viper Keeper knows, I've got very hot hands, and <laughs> it offers a very good target uh, uh, for them. So this is the first girl. We'll put her in here. Come on. Oh, she's a little tiny thing. Oh, she's got a nice little pattern on her back, too. <clears throat> Let me see if this will go pew pew this time. Dead. All right. And uh, this one is already very curious as to what's going on. This little girl out. Oh, my little fingies are in striking range, which makes me very nervous.
always try to have the loaded muzzle pointing away from you. <laughs> She is quite beautiful. Let's see if we can. She's a pretty good size. Yep. Yep. And she's on the move. Hello. Are you going to curious. Are you going to cooperate? Or are you going to play Saint Hockey? Oh, what do we got stuck. We got a shedding stuck already, huh? Oops. Off it goes. There we are. Hello there, young lady. Yeah, that's a strange texture I bet you've never felt before. Alright, let's put her in there. There you've got something to climb on. No. <laughs> Don't climb on that. <laughs> We're already getting the wrong idea. <laughs> Okay, so we can uh, mark on her record, so when I give her a, an acquisition number for the collection, uh, I'll note that she shed, that can go in the, in the trash. So that's Bothriatchus schlegeli, or the eyelash viper. The colors that you saw are just a few of the possibilities. I mean, if you Google uh, Bothriatchus schlegeli, the, the colors and the patterns are just absolutely incredible. Um, did I take a picture on her? I don't think no, I, I did. did. Because she sort of was kind of mobile. Huh? That's the boy. He's already uh, curling up. Hello. Is she taking a drink? She might uh, actually give me the uh, the water squirt bottles. Oh, the squirt bottles? Right there. No. Uh, that time. Okay. Yeah. Um, even though their substrate is quite wet and she just shed, let me just spray the walls down to make sure I mean, there's lots of water on the walls. We want to make sure that if the others are working on a shed, that they have plenty of uh, moisture and they've got water to drink. We'll just leave that over there. Okay, so that's Bothriatch's Schlegelein.